Hello and welcome. I'm Nafe42 and today I'm going to be talking about my 3D printer, the Anet A8. Okay, so you guys might have seen recently that I did uh, some build videos for this printer. Um, so I have actually built the printer now. It is together. I have put some stuff on it. The uh, bed leveling sensor and stuff like that have been added to it. But I've recently received a thermal runaway uh, issue with the printer. So much so that now the print tip has actually stopped heating up whatsoever. So now I just get print error every time. I've tried different firmware. I tried downgrading the firmware again to the previous firmware and also to the stock firmware and then re-upgrading to the new firmware. Uh, I have a few different things on here and here that I'm planning to do with the printer. At the moment, I can't really do that because I am after an area to put the uh, the MOSFETs in and I can't print that without the printer <laughs> so I'm a bit stuck at the moment so I'm, I'm hoping that in the next few days I'll receive a new print tip because I bought the, a whole new tip unit so it'll come with the um, the extruder, the nozzle, the tube going into it I'll have to recalibrate it and at that point I'll probably do a video showing you how to use the auto bed leveling stuff. When I started off using this printer, I had to pretty much level the bed uh, and change the height of the printer itself pretty much every time I was using it. That is, of course, unless I did one print and then another print after and then another print after. If I switched the printer off and then switched it back on, it seemed to forget the actual height of itself, which is kind of strange. With the bed leveling sensor, I didn't get that issue anymore. So that did fix that and it did mean that I didn't have to continuously recalibrate the height of the uh, print nozzle, which is quite nice and very, very useful. See, I've got a relay, a MOSFET, the Raspberry Pi, um, a step down sensor for the Raspberry Pi. Um, hopefully, what I'll be able to do is put that all into this little enclosure here, eventually, and the MOSFET into a, a, another enclosure at the top. But oh, I've also got this little bit here, which is a fan and a little thing to clip on on the other side. These are all little modifications that I'm going to be doing over the next few uh, weeks or month or so. Um, but I mean, obviously this week I can't do that because it's not working properly. I could probably do a how to use the Z-axis uh, bed leveling, which I might do if I have enough time to do that. But it wouldn't still be the same without me being able to show you at the end that I could actually print it. Uh, or print something and that that has actually come out okay <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm kind of waiting on that tip to come I did buy it two weeks ago and they told me after one week that it was being sent out that they sent it out so it took them a week to stick it in a box and send it somehow but I can't argue with that I suppose because I paid for it via gift in a box or something like that I think it was called something like that it was like it is from China as well so it's coming a very long way to get here and be part of my printer. Anyway, I've been putting together a list of modifications for the printer. If you could check on my Thingiverse, that is exactly what I'm planning to do with this printer, is to print all them parts out and have them all as part of this printer. I've also been working a lot more on the Project One website. Um, so if you go to Project ONE this time, uh, sorry, nafo42.com forward slash Project ONE, Project One, uh, that will actually show you the new and improved WordPress website which will house all of my information and stuff regarding Project One. Uh, I urge you to go and have a look, it's pretty cool. If you think it's pretty cool, share it around, let people know and maybe we can get some other people on board as well to do some art or any other kind of uh, cool stuff that can help with this project which would be really good. Um, I'm really excited to be bringing it out, so yeah. That'd be good. I think that's about it for this time, so don't forget to comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter, that is at NafeOverall2, and thanks for watching.